Welcome. In this episode, I will show you the best order block strategy that will blow your mind. So make sure you watch this video to end to see all the strategy rules that I'll be able to show you guys. So here we shall follow uh, three best rules before choosing order blocks to use, right? The first rule is inefficiency. Efficiency, it is also you can call it imbalance and uh, fair value gaps. These ones, they are actually highly uh, similar concepts, right? So here, if you come on your chat, what do I mean by inefficiency here, right? Inefficiency, it means uh, the market, maybe if the market it is in the upward direction, there are, you come here and you see where there is a, uh, there is great moves right if you see here here the market it made a drastic move to the upside right so it left gaps here what we call inefficiency or fair value gaps right so here so sometimes the market will come and retest those fair value gaps right so there is that fair value gap that the market left here we call it inefficiency or fair value gap or imbalance right so also you can see here there is this one right before the market made a drastic move to the upside right so there is this one also um, so we want to choose the order blocks but before choosing the order blocks you have to consider these 50 rules right guys you must know all the three rules that you must look at before choosing the order block so that is the first rule and the second rule is a breakout right so the market must make a break of structure to any direction that it is in right so for example if the market it is in the up uptrend right for example here market is in the uptrend it is obvious here as you can see it it, it meant a higher high uh, a higher low uh, a higher high higher low and then higher high right means here the market was breaking highs right as you can see here the market was breaking highs from here it came here it break the highs so so here the market has to be breaking structure right so and another concept that one i will show you uh, at last right so Let's first see these two concepts I've, I've, uh, I've discussed with you, right? So the first one, for example, if you come on your chart like here, so you first look at the inefficiency. Uh, sorry, you first look at it. And what? At the market structure. You first see where the market is trending, right? So if now you see here, the market is in the uptrend. So now you look for the break of structure, right? So here, you will see that here the market made a break of structure from here, right? The market made a break of structure from there. It also made a break of structure from here, right? But let me concentrate on this one. So after market making a break of structure, you come, you first see which, which law that made uh that it broke the structure to that broke this structure right so like here like as you can see here uh, you will see that after making this break uh, of structures today up upward i will see that this is the law that made a break of structure uh, this was the law that made a break of structure right so after looking at the uh, at this law so here you will just come here at this law and and see that there is this fair value gap after the market has, has uh, broken the structure, you will see that it left this fair value gap here immediately after breaking the structure. 
it left that fair value gap and also it left this fair value gap right here so they are to fair value gap the market left behind right so after that you will see that it made a, uh, our first loop it is inefficiency it is there in the breakout today to the upside also it is there so after confirming that right you you got your third rule that is liquidity liquidity that's where most of the stop losses of the order blocks are a phone right that's where the stop losses reside from so sometimes liquidity is made before before the market reaches the order block so for example here below here there was an order block below here after identifying our inefficiency in and break of structure you will see that there is an order block down here right so but you realize that the market did come to what to uh did come to our order block but it just created liquidity on our first fair value gap right so after identifying that you see that you'll be able to enter the market it comes below this 50 uh 50 percent fib fib level right so you target You'll be able uh, to target this high right and you put your stop loss you just put it anywhere you want right so after that you go to another example right guys right so here it also made a break of structure from there so here there is this one there is this fair value gap there's that first one and uh, there is this fair value gap too right right and uh, after that we have our order blocks so here you can draw your order block right here right so after drawing that you will see that the market also it came and it just retested our first order block right this order broke that was made immediately after the break of structure. So here, you'll be, uh, you'll be what, targeting the other most recent high. After the market reaching here, you'll be targeting here the almost seventy pips, right? And you risk, you risk like twenty pips, right? So, and you do that thing over and over and over and the order block must have inefficiency must break the structure and it must have created liquidity right so after knowing all of the three rules that govern the order blocks you'll be able to get the order blocks that will really 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 work for you so guys thank you for being up to the end of this video and please if you haven't subscribed do it down there and give a like to this video this is jimmy stay safe